Hey guys, Corbin here, and I want to show you how to use your vinyl cutter to create custom cool stickers for things like water bottles, your fridge, your car, whatever. And the first step is you have to create your own unique silhouette style images. And I'm going to show you how to do that using software and any image that you have or find from the internet. So let's get started with the first part of this tutorial. Okay, I fired up Adobe Illustrator and now I'm going to grab an image and convert it to a vector. And first of all, let's start with an easy image, one that's already a silhouette. And I'm just going to grab my image, which is a huge silhouette of a dinosaur that I found on the internet. And this one's a royalty free image, which is great. I'm going to resize it to be smaller. And my artboard in Adobe Illustrator is 12 inches by 12 inches because we're working in the physical world. And we want to create some stickers or something that's about that size. So I go ahead and resize the image in Illustrator to be about what I want. And now the first step is to rasterize this image. Now I can't remember where or how to do that in Illustrator. So I'm just going to do a quick search here for rasterize. And oops, I gotta have the image selected. And let's do it again. Rasterize, and there we go. So the settings aren't too important. 300 dots per inch is fine, or pixels per inch. And so what that did is it took that image and rescaled it at the size that we see on screen. If we don't do that, when we try and create vectors around the image, it's gonna be too big, too large, and too hard for the vinyl cutter to cut. So now we have a smaller image inside of Illustrator. I'm going to go up to Window and select Image Trace. So now I have the image trace up and we can actually start tracing the image. And I'm just going to hit the Preview button down in the lower left. And what that did is that already created a vector. So at this point we could tweak a lot of these values. They look pretty good. The resulting vector looks pretty good to me. We could make it uh, have more or less corners, and the more corners you have, probably the sharper the teeth are. Things to watch out for, the number of paths, the number of anchors created, the more complex the image is, the harder it is going to be for the vinyl cutter to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and close the image trace. And now, right now that trace is associated with the image in Illustrator, and I want to disassociate the two. So I'm going to go ahead and select the expand button. And what that did is that unassociated the two and allowed us to create a vector around the dinosaur image. I'm also going to ungroup it because we don't need a group. And at this point, I can take a look at the image and see, see how good it looks and whatnot. And it actually looks pretty good. Sometimes we get extra little bits and I'm seeing a little ghosting here of a second path. So I'm going to select that second path and delete it. And it looks like there's another little bit of a tiny bit in here that I'm going to go ahead and delete. And so I think I have a path that I'm pretty happy with. The next step is the vinyl color is only going to create a cut along the outline of the image, or the vector. It's going to follow the vector. So I like to go ahead and flip the fill to be none and set the stroke to be black. And that way I can see accurately what the vinyl cutter is actually going to cut. So now I have this dinosaur. I'm going to go ahead and save it as dino. And then we can go ahead and export it. So I hit File, Export, Export As. And here's the trick to make it work with the Silhouette Cameo. We have to export it as a AutoCAD interchange file, a DXF. That's the only generic file that this thing can read, the software for it. So I go ahead and export that. Now I can fire up Silhouette Studio and I can hit Command O and open that Dino.DXF. And so now I have the dinosaur. I can go ahead and kind of rescale it to be a little bit more appropriate for my particular my particular size of what I really want to cut. And at this point, I could hit the send button and send to the vinyl cutter and cut it. So that was pretty easy. Now, 
Let's maybe take a look at a more advanced image and see how we can do that.